Good morning. I am starting the vlog looking like an absolute nutter. Just woken up and I think these heatless curls have got a bit of a mess in the night, but hopefully they're gonna be all right when I take them out. I'm gonna vlog today because the sun is shining and we're gonna go to Cambridge, I think, St Albans or Cambridge, just to have a walk around and get some lunch and stuff. Joe and I realized the other day that we actually haven't done anything like just dusty yet. So we thought, why not? Joe was at a barbecue very late last night, so I'm not sure how well he's gonna feel this morning. How are you feeling, Joe? Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Oh dear, that's fun Friday, isn't it? Anyone else's boyfriend do that? Powerful. Powerful? Yeah. I thought you said terrible. No. Oh, this thing never ever fails me. It's so good. Happy with that? Anyway, I think we're gonna get some breakfast. <clears throat> good morning, Joe. Good morning. I haven't done my hair yet. <laughs> oh no, so cook your I'm hair. I'm not out. ready. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> How are you feeling? Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, not um, too bad. We are just having some coffee, which Joe very kindly made for us. What 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 is a vlog without you doing all the cooking and all everything? Oh. I'm actually um, doing changes. a little bit of work. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of work. I have to do it every Saturday and Sunday, which is kind of hard, but that's what you get for working for yourself. And we are having some biscoff on toast. What the best ordered. part of the morning yeah literally my i actually have bags under my eyes we didn't go to sleep till like you didn't come in till like midnight did you so yeah i just kind of was half awake for ages <laughs> um half awake half asleep <laughs> it's too early for this joe <laughs> like it, you know when your eyes are actually like stinging my eyes actually feel like they're stinging right now but yeah we're gonna have some biscoff on toast can't even talk and then we're gonna head off in probably 15 minutes or so. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my work and eat my toast. <laughs> we're actually gonna go and drop um, Millie off at her glamma's. We are gonna take her there. Be a bit awkward. Yeah, we're going to the shopping centre. Yeah, we do. Out. We quite like to go in a couple of shops because we haven't really been in any yet. So we're just gonna drop her off for the day. But she loves going there, so she'll be happy there. She'll be running around like a loony. And they have such a nice garden, so she just loves being in their garden as well. But I'll miss you. Where are they? Where are they? now um the weather's so weird it's like not really that warm but it's pretty sunny so i've got my sunglasses on but i've also got a jumper and a coat well not a coat a jacket because i'm worried that i'm gonna be freezing we're not sure where we're gonna eat so we're just gonna have a little wander around and try and find somewhere to eat it's really loud so i'm gonna come off the camera now because you probably can't even hear me but we'll see you when we actually find somewhere to eat how many masks can you actually have? Like these are all masks and I've forgotten one so I need to buy one. <laughs> there is literally every single mask you could think of in there. <laughs> flavour you could ever think of. Your mum would like that. Should we get it for your mum? Yeah. Let's get her that for looking after you. Do you get? Uh, can I please get the vegan bowl? Vegan? Yeah. Sure. Uh, would you like any extra like avocado? Uh, yes, some avocado please. Yeah. So much. Thank you very much. Thank See you later. Very Thank very you. We've secured the goods. We've, back for the sweet. <laughs> yeah, we've decided that we're actually just going to go and find somewhere to chill and certainly food from the market. market food instead because everywhere is just 
mad busy. Oh, this is a pizza place actually, yeah. I didn't think of that. It looks really nice. Yeah. Sun is shining. Right, we've found a nice bench to sit on and have our lunch in the sunshine. It's Hopefully, warm in the sun. Yeah, it is. Hopefully it actually stays warm. Um, I We decided to get some food from the market, I think I just said, because everywhere is just like ridiculously busy and oh doing that thing where i keep zooming in on my face ever is so busy and you just kind of have to sit like on the street because nowhere really has gardens around here so we thought it'd actually be nicer to just come and sit in the park i've gone for venezuelan food and the woman was asking me if i'd ever tried it before i was like no so i'm very excited i've gone for the vegan bowl i'll show you what's actually in it grilled meat well joe's got what is it? It's like grilled meat with like a wrap and some salad. This is what mine looks like. I'm gonna have to turn my camera around. That looks absolutely stunning. This is a cornbread, which he said is like traditional to them. So very excited to try that. And I've got extra avocado, obviously, and some like garlicky sauce. So my breath's gonna stink, Joe, for the rest I've got of the day. Mayo. Oh, you got garlic mayo as well. Okay, well, we're both going to stink together then. Oh, and we went to the sweet shop as well, and I forgot to show you what we actually got. So we picked up um, a couple of bits of chocolate for Joe's mum and dad to thank them for looking after Millie today. So we got Joe's mum Prosecco and Raspberry, because she loves Prosecco. And we got his dad Chili Dark Chocolate, because he loves chili. I wasn't sure about that. Like, I think that looks really weird. But the guy actually said that it's one of the most popular ones. And Joe chose Caramel Cheesecake, which looks very nice, white chocolate. And then we picked up these, because literally, I've known forever since I met Joe that he's never tried a pop tart like who has not tried a pop tart before so Me. we got these brown sugar cinnamon ones which i think are you can't get them in like tesco's and stuff that flavor so they were quite expensive but i feel like it just needs to happen and then we also got some bonbons in there which i'll show you later how is it yeah, nice, nice. And there's a little taste test. Do you know what? I don't have um, a fork. Oh, this is plantain, which is like banana, right? It looks like banana. I don't think I've ever tried that before. Oh. That's nice. not what I expected. Yeah, it's nice. It's not like sweet. Nice. That's really nice. we get bonbons, cola cubes. Oh yeah, I forgot about the cola cubes. Out of 10? That was the one that the guy said that he would recommend because you asked him which one. Is it good? It is good. Oh. Good bonbon. Good bonbon. Bonbon. <laughs> Not the best angle. You always tell me off for doing that noise. Double standards. And that was Vimto one, it was good. Seven, eight out of ten, I'd say. This one, rhubarb and custard. I'm getting, I'm getting the rhubarb vibes now. Thumbs up for me. Eight out of ten. Bethan's laughing at me because I chose a kebab. Yeah. I made a mistake with my choice of food. I admit that. Mum is delicious. So I've just found these candles in John Lewis and I was like, oh, they look nice. August girls are hot summer nights. And then I was like, wonder where the March one is. March girls are mostly mild. What are they? Mean? How upsetting! Like, why am I mostly mild? Does I want it to be it? hot summer nights it... or summer sun. It smells nice. <laughs> yeah, it smells alright. It's just like Give mostly mild. Who wants to be mostly mild? If you're a March girl like me, I'm sorry, girls, but we're mostly mild. <laughs> This is the difference between me and Joe when we're shopping. Be like looking at the Dyson air wraps and stuff like that, and Joe's like, can we, go and have, can we go and have a look at the ovens? And then he's like, oh, that's a sick oven, isn't it? It is, though, isn't it? <laughs> Two grand, that's not even bad. Nice. 
don't know. Is it busy? Yes. I think she's done it wrong. We've had a bit of a mare in Starbucks because we wanted to order like TikTok drinks. Well, Joe ordered the Kinder Bueno one that I had in my last vlog. Like Kinder Bueno, yeah. And they've forgotten to put the hazelnut in, so it's basically just white chocolate. And I ordered the pink drink, which is like hibiscus tea lemonade with strawberry syrup and milk, coconut milk. But it's. It's just a bit strange. She she actually did just hibiscus tea, and then I was like, no, that's not what I ordered. So then they just added it to it, and I feel like the ratios are a bit off. Yeah, this is all right, but I think it's not what I ordered. So fuming, and, and you didn't even get the uh, syrup that we paid for. <laughs> yeah. Ta da! Warm, so it's probably gooey. Oh, gooey! <laughs> gooey! <laughs> Look at that. Yummy. Good? Mmm. <laughs> We had a bit of a failure, so just a bit. yeah, a bit of a nightmare. So we've decided to cheer ourselves up with we a drink. What oh yeah, um, so basically those scooters, we saw them, and literally we saw them when we were coming in. Are you going through here? You don't know. Just stop him. Oh, um, yeah, we saw these scooters that you could ride around on, like forest bikes, but scooters. And we were like, oh, we'll get one of those on the way back because it's quite far to walk. Um, FYI, it was Joe's idea and he always takes the piss at people that ride scooters. Do you yeah. or do you not? Always. I do think, you know, this, like, these ones are good because they're good for the environment and you're in the city. But when you see people riding down the street on a scooter, I just feel like... I think it's, it's fine. So, we went to get one and Joe like logged into it and it was all fine. You had to put your license in there. Um, and then I went to do mine and it kept saying my license was invalid. But it's not invalid. I wouldn't even be surprised if it just wouldn't connect like my selfie to the ID. But I don't know what went wrong with it. And then it's charged me £10. So then we left. And then Joe had like pressed end ride because his had already logged in and was like charging. So he hit end ride and we were like, right, we're just going to give up. And then we got like, how far? Like five far, minute walk. Yeah, like um, back to the car and Joe opened the app or like opened his phone and the app was up and it said you've got to take a picture of the scooter for it to end. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so he hadn't even taken a picture so we were like oh my god we're gonna have to walk all the way back so that he can take a picture to a place stop where the there ride. Was about, there was about 12 of these scooters and so I had to like remember which one was the one that I'd scanned and take a picture of it. <laughs> so that I could end it, so I wasn't getting charged for like the rest of my life. So basically, it was a complete fail. Things like this always happen to us. Like, if you watched our vlog when we went to Cambridge, like in the summer, that was so long ago now, what the hell? We tried to get into like punting, couldn't get in, it was all fully booked. We tried to get on the rooftop bar, fully booked. Stuff like this, like when we try and go on a date, it never goes right, does it? Remember when we were in Oz and we had to like, went to that tough place and it was like, it shut down and like yeah you were, you were like oh yeah let's like, go oh. out and we got there and it wasn't even open well they weren't even there <laughs> so basically we're up. just destined to not go and date i decided to get a cider um dark fruits which is actually really nice a brew dog cider mm. but i'm struggling to drink and walk so i'm gonna have to put the camera right, down we are back from the Day in Cambridge, which is very fun, and I didn't actually end up recording in the car, but what I wanted to show you is what I got in Zara. Because, what is post-lockdown without going to Zara? I had to queue up to get in there. So, I picked up this little Zara top, which is like knitted with green and blue and stuff. This is really different for me. Like, I don't normally go for blue and green vibes. I normally always go for like orange, neutrals pinks that's my kind of colors and um, but i actually thought this with 
jeans would be a really nice outfit. And then to finish off the outfit, I grabbed these, which I literally am in love. Look at the colour of them. Like, how nice will that be all together? Because there's, like, actually a little bit of a lime green in the top. Obviously, I've got two, not just one. But I feel like that outfit for a brunch in London would be really nice. And then I'm thinking I need to, like, put a white blazer or something with it. Because it's obviously not going to be that warm. 11 .99 in Zara as well for a knitted top. Not too bad. I think their shoes were, like, 27 The trainers that I wanted weren't in stock in my size from size. So I was very upset. But... Never mind.